glad to be with you. You know, as I've been thinking all week about you, I remember reading a book about a strong-willed child. I have one. And what the book said is be very, very consistent. And if you give in even once, they know that there's a chance. You know when they say, Mom, can I? And you say, no. Mom, can I? No. Mom, can I? Okay. Well, guess what? That strong-willed child, they'll never forget it. They'll be back, and then they know that there's a chance. You know, parents, one of the greatest things you could do for your kids is let your yes be yes and your no be no. Be as consistent as you know how. Another thing is, if you say yes, be sure to keep your word at all costs. And if you say no, stick with your no. And then be sure not to say, you're punished for a thousand years. That's not even practical and we know that. Be sure to be slow to speak and quick to listen. Take your time when you're punishing your kids. Take your time before you say no. Take your time before you say yes. One of the things I used to say is, I'm not gonna answer that yet because I'm not ready. Give me some time and I'll answer it. Because I wanted time to think about it and count the cost. And one of the things to this day my kids always say, if she says no, it's no. If she says yes, she will do it. You know what I did is I earned my son's trust. How did I do that? By being very consistent. I know, not always easy. And by always doing what I said I would do. So if I said, if you do this, we'll do ice cream today. Oh, sometimes I didn't want to do the ice cream after all, but I did it. Why? Because I wanted them to know that my yes was yes and my no was no. Parents, I hope that that helps you this week. I know that you're already doing such a great job. This is only to give you a few little pointers to help you a little bit more. Until next time.